Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by, and as always, if you are a recurring viewer or a subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support of my channel. I really appreciate you all being here today. Uh, I am excited. I have some books that I want to haul for you today. Um, a couple of these I have had on my shelf for a while now, but I have not officially hauled them on the channel yet. So I thought I would go ahead and do that today since I received a couple of books in the mail yesterday. Um, and so I thought I would go ahead and just sort of do it all together. I have a stack of one, two, three, four, five, of six books here to show you today. They are all uh, historical nonfiction titles that I am hoping to read uh, starting in January for the new year. So the first, just getting right into it, is Elizabeth I by Anne Somerset. Uh, this is a copy that I got from Thrift Books. It's a little bit more worn up, uh, worn out, and and dinged up than I than I thought it would be. The category on Thrift Books was linked as like new, um, so I'm not sure I would call this like new. Uh, but I'm very happy to have a copy of this in physical form. I'm really getting into biographies of Elizabeth the First. I'm currently reading uh, Alison Weir's biography of Elizabeth I, and then I'm going to be reading uh, Anne Somerset's biography next. I think the timing should actually work where I should be able to start this one pretty much right on the 1st of January um, if if I want to, which I, I'm fairly certain I will. I've been wanting to read this one for a couple of weeks now. Um, so that's the first one. Uh, the second is a, another Helen Rappaport title, and uh, for those of you who have watched my videos for a while, you will know that Helen Rappaport is one of my favorite uh, authors for Russian history, particularly a history about the, the Romanov family. Um, and this is her book, Conspirator, Lenin in Exile. And for some reason, this is one of her books that I had let completely fall off my radar and really wasn't even aware about until very recently. I thought that I had read everything by her. And then I saw this title come across my Goodreads recommended feed and um, instantly went to Thrift Books and bought a copy just because I wanted to have all of her books on my shelves. And this is one that I didn't have. Uh, and it's, a, it's a subject matter that's very interesting uh, to me. And I really haven't read very much about Lenin's exile period at all. Um, I've really only ever read one biography about Lenin. Um, so I want to read, you know, as much more as I can. And Helen Rappaport has such a way of delivering her stories and her narratives in such so, such an engaging way while still being incredibly informative and educational. So I'm really looking forward to this one as well. Uh, the next one here, I was trying to remember if I had showed it in a video or not. Um, and so I thought I would just go ahead and haul it a second time. I, I don't think I have hauled it before, so I think it's the first time, but it may be the second time. So if it is, I do apologize. And that is A Fatal Discord by Michael Massing, Erasmus Luther and the Fight for the Western Mind. This was a recommendation given to me by Steve Donahue, so I know it's going to be well worth my time. And it is a brick of a book, so I do know that it is going to take quite a bit of time to get through. But I'm really looking forward to it. I'm feeling like it might be a little bit above my uh, intellectual uh, capabilities at the moment, but I'm going to give it a read. I'm going to see what I can pull from it, and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, next, we have Evan Thomas's The, um, the War Lovers, Roosevelt Lodge Hearst and the Rush to Empire, 1898. And this is one that I marked as uh, once read on Goodreads about three years ago, and then I was in a used bookstore recently and saw a copy of it, and in great condition too, and it was only a couple of dollars. So I picked this up, and I haven't read a whole lot about uh, this time period. I've read a, a, a decently on Theodore Roosevelt, but not on a whole lot of his contemporary figures. So this is going to be a lot of new information for me to mine in this one, so that's going to be really interesting. I'm looking forward to that. And then lastly is another Anne Somerset biography, and that is Queen Anne, The Politics of Passion. And uh, I haven't read any Anne Somerset yet, so I'm, I pretty much purchased this one on a, a leap of faith that I'm going to really like her writing. Um, Steve also recommended Anne Somerset to me, so I, I know pretty much that I'm going to enjoy her writing. So when I got the Elizabeth I biography, I saw this was also available on Thrift Books, and I really haven't read much about Queen Anne, and I would like to read more about um, the early 1700s uh, for uh, English history, and that's when she was queen. Uh, and her life sounds very interesting just from reading the, the inside cover of this edition here. So I'm really excited to be able to learn more about her. 
Uh, and that is that is the sixth and final book. Uh, this is a super quick video, but I wanted to keep it I wanted to keep it brief just to show some of these new titles that I got, some new nonfiction for the new year. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to leave a comment down below, and uh, I would love to hear what you're reading and if you've maybe read any of these titles, and if so, what you think about them. And I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, and happy reading.